Good morning, everyone. I am back with another tutorial using scraps and other little things that you might have laying in your desk and some paper clips. So for this tutorial, we're going to use a scrap piece of paper that is going to be about one and a half by two inches. And I'm just going to, let's see, eyeball this. That's about there. Trim it. You want to make sure that this is about the size of your paper clip. Now my paper clip is a one and three quarter inch. So I'm just going to eyeball it. You see it's a little bit too big. So we're going to trim it down. It should be about one and a half by two. All right, right there. Perfect. So it, typically, but you want to always measure and you always want to leave the space on top and a space on the bottom for, so that you can um, put a jump ring or a chain hanging from those ends. So what you're going to do now is grab your distressing or whatever color you want. I'm using vintage photos. You can also take your ink pads and any stamp and stamp onto these to give it more, which is what I've done to my other ones. Just do not feel like getting up, guys, to go get a stamp. I really don't. So we're not. But the other ones I have, and I'll show you here in a minute. See, I have stamped these. See, I just don't feel like getting up to get a stamp. I know. Pretty lazy, huh? Yeah. Yes, I am. I admit to that. I am very lazy. Okay. And I'll show you what these look like here in a bit. So once you have this already inked up, you're going to take the longer side of your paper clip and you're going to slip this through just like so. And you're going to grab your Mod Podge. I forgot to mention that. So let's grab our Mod Podge. And you're going to take that and apply, it's about a quarter of an inch that you're going to do like a little seam and apply your Mod Podge, fold it, burnish that in really good. I just use my fingers to burnish it. All right, then you're going to take, make sure you got that good, and you're going to flip it over and keep rolling your paper around the paper clip, making sure you leave enough room on top and bottom to slip in a jump ring or a chain. Okay. See, I cut this one a little bit too small. You want it about one and a half by two inches so that you have a good seam on top. But I was just trying to be quick about it. All right. You don't want to waste that little piece of paper. I know that's pretty bad. Pretty, pretty bad. But hey, it is what it is right so once you have that you're going to take your Mod Podge and you're going to hold one end and you're going to brush some Mod Podge to seal it in on both sides now this looks pretty cool when you stamp it it looks really awesome actually so brush good amount of Mod Podge and seal it and then what I have is I took another paper clip and I probably was off camera I didn't realize that took another paper clip and I made this little mechanism to hang them so that they're drying I make sure they're not touching each other because otherwise they'll stick to each other so just make sure you your contraction here is not um, allowing them to touch each other so make a butt out eighth of an inch separation and then I hang it 
to dry on my little mason jar. <laughs> All right, so this one has been sitting there for a while, and you want them to sit for a while because you want to make sure that they're completely dry. Once they're completely dry, you can start taking all your little scraps of stuff that you have. I'm going to go close my Mod Podge, guys. Let's do that. So you're just going to take your scraps of whatever you have laying on your table, and you're going to grab your glue gun, and you're going to start assembling something of something of some sort. And I have this little piece of a canvas that's the coffee dye, and I'm just going to fray it more and distress it more and kind of make it uglier more. And then we're going to start building, just like anything else that I've done in the past. I'm going to flip it to where the little joint is. And voila. Wow, wow. And then we'll find something else, put a little bit more glue there in the center. And I have this little piece that I've been using a lot of. Grab that one, and I have this here from leftovers. And so I see all this fiber. We're gonna use that fiber. You'll see. love being able to have all those fibers in my stuff so we'll put that there and I have this little boot that I cut the flower off the other one I could probably put that there let's just stress it a little bit though I cut the flower off of the boot because the boot was too big and I attached it to another little project. I would do the back just in case you can see it. I'm off camera. I have to readjust this camera. Contract, contraction, whatever. I can't think right now. It's too early in the morning, guys. All right. Mm. If I was off. Sorry about that. Okay, go there, and I have this little thing here, I don't know, this is from one of Tim's collection, I believe, don't know, don't really know, don't know, don't know, don't know, we'll put that there, like that, oh, we got to get this little fiber here, I can't forget that. That little crochet. So let's glue that down. And then we can glue this down. And then we can glue that little piece down. And then we have, well, we can use that for something else. Then we have all these fibers that I love to use. And we can probably make a little bow on the top here. But you know what? I had, hold on, hold on. We have this, and this is just another piece of a trim. I'm just going to triple it up, tuck it under here. Like so. And then we're gonna probably going to put a button here somewhere. And we're going to get a button. Stick that stick in there. Then I 
still don't want to get rid of my fibers. You guys know I love my fibers. So we're going to act like that's coming off the shoe just like that. Just tuck that back there. Uh, we have this little piece left over from the crochet trim that I just tore off. Looks like that's coming off the boot, and I like that look. And then, let's see, let's see. Do we have a little flower? Hmm. Let me have this little flower. That'll do it. At least in my book, it will. Then we can pop that flower up there and make it a beautiful little piece of the boot. You will not know that we cut the flower originally that was there. And then I have this little one here. And we can put that on top. And you have a little pearl which I'll look for it later. Not right now because I don't have any sitting around me. But I will add a little pearl right there. And you can take some um, safety pins and pin up some buttons and kind of tuck it in there as well. Whatever you guys want to use, you can use it in these little um, paper clip embellishments. You can add a chain right up there with the jump ring. Right up there. And attach it to your albums, your journals, your scrapbook pages, whatever you guys want to use these for, or perhaps some keychains. So that is a beautiful paperclip embellishment using some of your scraps once again. And these little fibers, remember, don't throw those away. Just get a little box, throw them in there because they're wonderful for um, these little projects like this. So that is one right there. Let me see, do I have another one that's dried? I should. All right, let's do another one. Let's do another one. Again, we're going to use the open, the part that we sealed up. And I have some coffee bags here, or tea bags. I'm going to use one tea bag. I'm going to put it there. I got this. Let's cut a piece of this. cheesecloth. I'm just going to put that there. What else do we have here? We have this. This is a piece from that um, leftovers from our project making the chair organizer. And that's pretty sturdy. So we might be able to put that in there. And I'm going to ruffle this up and glue it down like that. Because it's in like an embroidered piece, it'll go in really well. Some glue. Take this tea bag and I kind of off center it. Then I can probably. Do I have any more of that dangle trim? Yes, I do. I have more. Let's grab some more of that dangle trim because I like it and don't have too much of it left, but. So we're going to grab some of this and just, it's just three, four actually. I'm going to gather them, pinch it, I really need to adjust this camera and put it in the back, just like so. Okay, 
And there we have the part where we attached or sealed together the ends. We're going to put a glue on that end. And we're going to attach this in, just like so, making sure you leave enough space for the top. So you're left with something like that. And then you can take some of these fibers that are laying on your desk and let's see, I got this little crochet piece as well. Go there, go there. Let's see, that looks good. Now let's take the crochet piece off. And let's put all the fibers. And I got another piece of this little crocheted something. I think it's been through several projects and more. And I want to touch a button. And this is an ugly button, but I'll make it pretty right there. So we're going to do that. And let's go in. fibers mm, I wanted the fibers on top of this so we'll do that this way fibers and here's another scrap that I wanted to get off my desk because it's just annoying me right now and see all those little beads and then we're going to put that right in the center call it an embellishment and I don't know about you but I think it's a cute little darling embellishment and again you can grab your jump ring attach it to the top or the bottom you can put some little dangle charms in the bottom if you want if you don't want to use laces or trims or dangles like this I don't have any metal embellishments that are small enough for me to dangle nor do I have any jump rings but if I um, had, I would do something like that. I would put some little um, chains with some um, uh, jump rings and make them dangle or attach one of the Tim Holtz um, chains to the top and create a cute little embellishment that way. Either way, it's all beautiful and I think it's all incredibly unique and that's what makes it even more special. All right, let me show you the other ones that I have. So we did this one, these two together, and I have this one with some fibers and again some more of the frame. Here's the flower that belonged to the boots. I cut it off and put it here. There's a pin attached with a piece of that crocheted. Um, I took um, some letters and stamped the word joy on that piece of linen. Here's some appliques and several multiple layers of stuff. And here's a butterfly that has, I don't know how it's managed to stay around because I bought these in 2016 when I owned Created with Details. So I found this in the back of the drawer and it's been around, it's been around, uh, it's been around um, surprisingly, surprisingly enough. So really cute. Here's another one. All this is scraps. Just chunks, pieces of stuff that can make cute little embellishments for your albums, your journals, keychains. They're all adorable. And so the easiest way to do these is just to get a whole bunch of little paper clips, get them all lined up, dried up, and just start sitting down and assembling them. And it just makes it really, really quick and fast. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I, um, if you have any questions, make sure you send me a message. I will try to answer them the best that I can. And I will try to come back sometime this week with another embellishment tutorial for your journals. And there's a reason behind all this because we are going to be working on the journal. And I still have to continue on part six of our lap book. 
not to mention a junk journal that my daughter is going to be putting out. So there's reasons behind these little small tutorials, and um, I hope you guys are enjoying them as much as I'm enjoying making them. Anyway, you guys have a fabulous day, and I'll see you guys later on. Bye-bye.